Hey, Jordan. So, um, yes, this is an issue, right? Uh, where you're creating your message, and so we'll just do message three. This is tied to Xano, um, and it just doesn't show up. So I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. And, uh, yeah, refreshing the page is not an option for uh, for a reasonable, uh, a reasonable application. Um, fortunately, there is a way to make this work. And what we want to do is go into uh, our bubble app. And so on this send message, right, I'll just show you what I have. So it's just we're creating the message in Xano. Um, it's very simple. Uh, my setup, I don't have any, I don't have any uh, authentication setup at all. It's just a very simple integration here. Um, I have a little get message uh, call and a create message call. And then in the workflow, when I push the button, it's just creating a message, resetting the relevant inputs um, and all that. So, but what we can do, uh, we're using uh, a data data at, or use as data on the get message call. So this is in the repeating group right here. And we can make this repeating group refresh uh, by changing the value. So I'm just gonna add a, um, I'm just gonna add an update state on my repeating group here. And you can literally call it anything you want. I'll just call it update. I'm going to make it of type text and then I'm going to set a random value to that when I create this message, right? So, uh, right here, I'm going to set the state, let's see, repeating group, get message update. And then, um, I'm just going to, uh, grab current date time and Extract the Unix timestamp. And I just format it as a number randomly. It just needs to be a text there. So um, so we're sending the message. We're uh, changing that state. And then we're going to go in here to this call and add a parameter. This parameter will simply be update. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it's uh, nothing that... Um, just make sure it's nothing that actually is part of your database in Xeno. And then we'll go back in here to the front end, go in this call, and we're going to set this value to repeating groups update state. So just to back off that a second, what's happening is we've added a parameter to this call. When that parameter is value is changed, Bubble will refresh that API call. And so if we refresh the front end here, I don't know why my page is taking forever to reload right now. But when we re, uh, refresh this, we should be able to type a message, hit send message and, oops, I did something wrong here. Why is that not? Oh, I think I did not make it optional. And so it's fussing at me. Optional, let's try it again. Bad about that. Bubble gets a little weird about things like that sometimes. Okay, that was it. I had not made it optional and it was uh, throwing an error. So here if I do message, and hit send message, it automatically updates. Message five, there we go. Six, we we'll just keep typing messages and make sure it's working. Yay, it's working. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, perfect, hopefully that helps, man.